Hey everybody, welcome back to HemingwayLand.com, your source for quality, affordable land in the state of New Mexico. So we've got this property up in Rio Reba County. It has been listed on the website for longer than I care to admit. Uh, but this is 40 acres that we purchased out there that we listed for 48,000. And at the time that I listed it, 48,000 was ridiculously low uh, as far as comps went out there. I think the closest 40 acre property was something like $80,000 or something like that. Uh, and so there was a part of me that thought the price alone would sell it. And simultaneously, I wasn't making a lot of videos uh, for properties on the website at the time because I thought most of the information that was written on the page uh, would be good enough or that people would be able to intuit a lot of answers from it or realize that we were giving them sort of enough information to research. And obviously, time has, has taught me that uh, sometimes I need to make these videos and kind of walk people through the details of the land as I know it. Furthermore, what I discovered was uh, one of the ways that we were selling this property was that we said it came with a, um, essentially any landowner in the area was grandfathered into a free uh, hunting permit by the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. That expired, that sunsetted uh, January 1st of this year, and I was unaware of that. I found it out recently, and so I thought, let's update the listing page, let's reduce the price, let's add a video where I actually talk about this thing, and let's try to get it sold. So we've dropped the price down uh, $14,000 to $34,000. Uh, as you'll see later in the video, this is uh, an exceptional uh, deal on a price per acre basis out here in Rio Reba County, and uh, there's a lot to like about this property. So let's get to it, guys. This is reference number RANM4985. As noted, it is 40 acres up in Rio Reba County in the northern part of the state. This 40 acres is a combination of two adjacent 20 acre lots. That's why you see two parcel numbers here and two legal descriptions. And it is now priced at $34,000. So let's bring this up on a map, show you exactly where this is. As with all of our uh, properties, come down here, click on any one of the GPS coordinates, it'll pull it up here on the Google Maps. So uh, if we go to map view, you can see that the the uh, plat lines out here are not uh, clearly delineated. So I'm just going to show you that this basically this 40 acres runs from this thing over here that looks like a road or something uh, runs over to here ends just shy of where this road ends at and runs up to basically this thing right here that also looks like a road or some sort of fencing or something. So the 40 acres is this right here. Uh, this 40 acres can be accessed very easily off the 285. Uh, if you come in here, you can see there's a little uh, dirt road that runs out this way. And if you come down to our photo gallery, you can see that uh, this is what that looks like. Uh, obviously, as with any of our properties, anybody who's going to spend any amount of money, 2000 3000 or 34000 we encourage you to go out and scout these properties, uh, lay eyes on them yourself, make sure it works for you. Um, this one's kind of easy. You can just sort of eyeball this one. You're going up the 285 just north of the 576 here, and you're making a left turn off into this dirt road. But if you want to get more specific, just click the directions button here. Enter your start point, whether that's your home or the hotel you're staying at, and uh, click enter, and Google Maps will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions out to the land. Sometimes you could pull the uh, listing page up on your smartphone and click the GPS coordinates, and your smartphone will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. But uh, I don't know what cell service is like out here or how reliable cell service is, I should say. So uh, this is the best way to do it. You'll get turn-by-turn -turn directions you could print out and take with you. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this. So down here at the edge of the property, you can see what looks like some debris over here. If you come back to our photo gallery, uh, you can see what exactly this is. So this is the dirt road in, and then this is a set of power lines that are out here. The person who owned the lot next door uh, had previously had some sort of structure out there. Now, there's still some remnants of this structure on the neighboring property that you can see. I believe there's actually an active well out here, which tells me that water table depth out, out there is not too deep, not too prohibitively expensive. Uh, whatever the case, I'm told that these uh, power lines still work uh, and that they stopped just short of the property. So should not be difficult to get power extended out to the subject property. Let me go back and look at this. Uh, to get power extended out to the subject property. So FYI. Now, one of the things I like about this uh, property is that it's in a really good region. So this is, so northern New Mexico has a lot of great hunting up here. Um, elk, mule deer, wild turkey, uh, bear, etc. Things like that are all available within this area. Um, there's a lot of hunting that goes on in this region itself. There are also nearby some big game hunting resorts. There is this one, the Timbers at Chama. There's the Fishtail Ranch. Uh, and we have both of those linked here on the listing page. 
under points of interest. So we have the Timbers of Chama, we have the Fishtail Ranch, as well as Stonehouse Lodge. You can read more about those, you can learn more about that. Um, when I look at these photos here, I don't see a lot of, uh, you know, dense, uh, you know, coverage forestation, let's say, where animals would necessarily hide or hang out, but apparently there's a lot of hunting that goes on up here. Uh, even if not necessarily on this property, then fairly close by. Uh, additionally, let's go back to the map. One of the other things I like about this property is it sits in very close proximity to a couple of nice features. One is you've got the Elvado and Heron lakes out here in Rio Reba County, uh, as well as the Abiqui Lake right here. And close by, you've got the Navajo Dam and Marina out here. Um, now, as noted on the listing page, I'm going to go up to it again. Hang on a second. Under points of interest, we have all of those things linked right here. So you click any one of those links, it's going to take you to their respective websites. And you can learn more about what sort of fishing or boating or, you know, recreation activities are available in all those places. The Navajo Marina, for anybody who hasn't seen me make a video about this, this is obviously, uh, this is an area where you can do a lot more than the other lakes. So if you own a boat, uh, or even if you don't own a boat, you can go and rent one at any one of these places, and you can go out here and have a lot of great fun. The Navajo Marina, however, has these houseboat rentals, these 48-foot, you know, throw a huge party type of thing on them. Anyway, uh, getting back to this. So the point is there's uh, a lot of great uh, bodies of water out here, recreation spots for you if you own this property. But the other nice thing about this is that it's not just a seasonal property. It's not just best uh, utilized only in the spring and summer months, and then you've got nothing to do in the winter. Uh, because you'll see nearby here is the Taos Ski Valley where you have some of the best skiing in America. So you've got a property where you can take advantage of it in the spring, the summer, uh, the winter, and the fall, uh, etc. Simultaneously, of course, as noted because it's a great hunting area, obviously in the, uh, the fall and the winter months, uh, you've got that that you could take advantage of out there. So let's talk about uh, zoning in this region. So I'll go through the images here as I talk about this. Uh, my suspicion is if you own 40 acres, you could pretty much do whatever you want. Nobody's even going to know that you're doing whatever you're doing. That being said, Rio Reba County has very laid back zoning laws. Uh, so most anything you, you want to do, you're going to be able to do out here. Obviously, if you're buying 40 acres, my supposition is that you're building a home, you're building a, a ranch, uh, you're building uh, maybe even just, a, maybe just a, a hunting cabin that you visit uh, seasonally, that you visit you know once or twice a year when you come out here to hunt. Uh, something like that. You shouldn't have difficulty with that. If you're one of our buyers, however, who wants to park an RV or build a tiny home or some sort of shipping container home or something, most likely you will also not have difficulty with that based off every conversation I've ever had with Rio Reba planning and zoning. Uh, that being said, we always recommend to our buyers, particularly if you're going to spend this kind of money, come up here on the listing page under county contact information. We have the people, the phone numbers and the websites that you could reach out to to better learn some of these things. So for instance, you might want to call planning and zoning and ask them, say, I'm looking to buy 40 acres. It's roughly around Trace Piedras. Is there, you know, I want to do X, Y, and Z. What do I need to know? Uh, simultaneously, we have the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish. If you don't have a hunting license in New Mexico, but you want to get one, reach out to them, talk to them about that. Furthermore, the New Mexico Office of the State Engineer is who you would talk to about a well, uh, about uh, water permits, uh, excuse me, about water, uh, well drilling permits, uh, and getting water rights for the land. So these are all excellent links, excellent resources that you would have for that. I should say most of the people who have expressed interest in this property uh, have done so because they have livestock, they have cattle that they need uh, to put on land somewhere and have the cattle graze and I don't know. I don't know enough about cattle, uh, but the point is that obviously is also another option that you would have out here. A lot of this is some very nice, flat, buildable land. Uh, as I noted earlier, I don't, I don't know if there's a lot of animals hanging out on this land because it's not densely forested, but uh, obviously it's flat and buildable and uh, can provide excellent opportunity to, uh, to construct something out here. You're not going to have to deal with a lot of terrain issues. You're not going to have to do a lot of landscaping uh, that you might have in other places. Anyway, with all that said, let's just talk about price for a second. So um, I've got Rio Reba County pulled up here on land and farm properties between 25 and 50 acres. And let's sort them price lowest first. So as you can see, currently our 40 acres for 48,000 is the cheapest. We again are going to reduce that down to 34,000 and then it will be even more so. Uh, this 36 acres of 49,000, that's uh, kind of competitive with what we have. And I, I have to say, when I originally listed this property, nothing came even remotely close to that. 
Uh, but as you can see, as you go through this, here's 25 acres for 50,000, here's 35 acres for 50,000, 30 acres for 60,000, so on and so forth. The prices only go up from there and uh, you know, clearly underline the fact that 40 acres for 34,000 is an exceptional deal out here. Here's, uh, here's 40 acres for 190,000. And again, all of these are vacant land. It's not like there's a house on any of these places. So land in Rio Reba County is very expensive. This property is not. Anywho, so let's talk about the buying process. How does this work? Uh, we close on this through Rio Reba Title and Escrow. Uh, anybody who's going to spend this kind of money with us, we encourage you as well to close through a title company. Typically, with properties in this price range, we say click the Buy Now button. It'll take you to this page, and we'll ask for a non-refundable earnest money deposit of $1,000. That's just something that uh, shows us you are serious while we're tied up in escrow for the next month, month and a half, conveying this property to you. Obviously, uh, we can't touch the rest of your money until such a time as the property is recorded into your name. So uh, the other $33,000 you hang on to in such, until such a time as the title company says we're ready for you to fund the deal. Now, if you're watching this saying, I don't want to give my money to some guy on the internet I've never met and I don't know and blah, blah, blah. Here's what I would recommend. This property is actually, we have a realtor who's associated with this. He works for Coldwell Banker. You reach out to our offices, support at HemingwayLand.com or give us a call, 702-919-7170. We'll put you in, in touch with him and then we'll let him quarterback this transaction through escrow. So you won't need to put down uh, $1,000 through the website. We'll ask for some sort of earnest money deposit. Uh, but you'll at least have uh, a realtor working with this who can, you know, I guess give you greater peace of mind than if you were just buying it here on the website. Anyway, I hope all this was informative. If you guys have questions, you know, uh, shoot us an email, support at Hemingway Land, or give us a call, as noted earlier, 702-919-7170, and uh, we can attempt to answer any questions that you have about the property. Hope this was helpful. Hope we learned something here. Uh, hope we interested somebody in buying this property, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.